My name is Joseph Arroyo, and I am part of the Brooklyn region of the New York City Church of Christ. I think that the big thing that really changed things for me was when I realized that I actually was not a Christian. Uh, for most of my life, I spent that time thinking that um, Christianity was something that you were a part of just by saying that you were a part of it. Um, I really didn't have too much of an example of uh, lifestyle or getting into the Word or much like that. So. Uh, when I had a friend sit down with me in my apartment and sit there and actually tell me, um, you know, do the word study with me, and after that, just straight up tell me to my face, hey, you know, based on what you have read, are you a Christian? And, you know, my first answer was, well, not, you know, not completely. I'm not doing all these things and stuff like that. And he said, no, that's not what I asked you. I asked you, based on what you were reading, uh, that what you're reading, are you a Christian? And I had to come to terms with that. And as I said, the honest truth, no, I'm not a Christian. Um, I literally felt the pain in my heart. I can't explain it or anything like that, but it really broke me to say that I was not something I grew up my whole life thinking I was. Uh, as a kid, I would go to church and then I have a specific time to go to the bathroom to like play my Game Boy um, until the church was basically over. So yeah, like needless to say, I, getting into the Bible like that was not like a big part of my life so that sitting in front of the word really changes you you know because I could have sat in front of the scriptures and then just you know excused it you know what I mean like this is nice and da 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 but if someone wasn't there teaching me um, if someone wasn't there if God didn't use him to really confront my life my comfortability what I got used to uh, what I had set in my mind, if God didn't use him to do that, then I, I don't know if I would be here right now. So it was, it was exactly that. Him, that was the real thing. Are you a Christian? You know, according to what is written here, is this you? Is this your life? And I, I mean, I could have lied, but I know I didn't want to lie about something like a relationship with God. So yeah, man. That, is, that really changed me. Um, I started to tear up, if I remember correctly. And from that moment on, that, that was the turning point for me. From that moment on, admitting that I wasn't something that I knew I needed to be was a complete turning point for me. And after that, I just wanted to get into the Word. I remember getting the challenge to read Matthew after that, and I was in it. It took, my conversion took some time, and I had to get rid of a lot of things. I, had, I was leading a lifestyle of impurity. I was leading a lifestyle of debauchery, of people pleasing, of, you know, a destructive behaviors. And I was only about to get more destructive until my friend came and God intervened before I really destroyed myself. Um, and I'm so thankful for that and everything changed from there. I got into the book of Matthew that night. I met up for the studies and every study just continued to convict me and my focus was like, I just want to be with God. I want to be, I, I want to be with God in heaven. I don't want, this is my second chance <laughs> and I don't want, I want to do life right this time in the eyes of God. So. Uh, eight years later, uh, I'm standing here completely changed, um, convinced that God has really impacted my life and, and moved me in a way that I never thought I would be here right now. So it's incredible.